just touching on the um, the AFL side of things, being here, do you sort of notice anything different? Obviously, much bigger ground than you used to, but sort of what's it like being around sort of an AFL specific town and, and sort of an AFL specific ground as well? Um, yeah, obviously, like you said, it's a pretty big ground, so we're not really used to that. So, 100 metres are uh, long for us, so um, a lot different, but. Um, not too many people uh, notice the storm too much down here. It's um, like I said, Geelong cats down here, so uh, it's pretty cool. Um, obviously, we're having our time at uh, Geelong Grammar, and uh, we got the opportunity to come here, and it's um, I reckon it's pretty cool to uh, train here. You obviously mentioned Joel Selwood coming to the club, and I know he's pretty new to the, to the storm, but what sort of impact has he had in his first you know, couple of months in, in the purple? Oh, it's had a massive impact. We had uh, a dinner a couple of nights ago, and we had um, the likes of Billy Slater and Joel Selwood sitting up on a chair and um, got to ask him a few questions and um, they're both like-minded and um, like-minded individuals and you can see how successful they both are and um, the values they both bring it's pretty similar they both bring a good leadership role uh, within each club and um, whatever team or they play for Joel played for Geelong Billy played for the Storm and um, whenever they played they made the players around them a lot better so um, it's great to hear um, Joel's side of the story and AFL sort of perspective but um, having both Billy and um, Joel around the club it's it's great obviously Joel coming from that AFL side doesn't know that sort of, doesn't have that NRL or, or rugby league background but so sort of what traits does he bring to, to sort of help out the Storm oh, he brings a, a, a lot of traits I think um, more so how to prepare yourself come to games um, I think it's fairly similar uh, both um, games the NRL and the AFL are, are both professional sports and um, is a professional athlete um, Joel Selwood and he's just recently retired so he brings a lot of knowledge around that um, how to prepare for a game um, how to prepare for training how to train um, he brings those kind of aspects um, to the, uh, the Melbourne Storm which is great and um, like I said, we, we have both Joel and uh, Billy at the club who are both great competitors, so um, it's great having them here. They're making us better players. In a couple of weekends time, you've got the trial game coming up here as well. So what's the, what's the build up into that like and so how exciting is it to take, even though it's a trial game, but NRL games to, to be a you know, regional community that just doesn't usually get the rugby league? Oh, it's very exciting. Um, I don't think uh, too many people down here at Geelong um, know rugby league too well, so hopefully a few of um, Geelong Cat fans or AFL fans can get out and have a, a bit of a watch and um, see how the NRL players go but um, yeah it's a pretty cool um, sort of thing having the game here and um, yeah we just want to train as best we can and prepare for the trials and that leads us into a, a steady season coming 2023 which will be unreal. You know obviously having a chat with the, the John Chuck junior players and, and that's a, another new club that falls under the, the Melbourne Storm sort of banner. Um, how exciting is it to see another sort of academy team that pops up and, and can help develop that sort of interest in the area? Yeah it's very exciting. Um, well, what we want to do down here at Melbourne is um, we want to breed homegrown talent and um, that's a step towards that and um, you see what our clubs do up in Queensland and New South Wales and we want to do the exact same down here in Melbourne because it's all AFL based down here so uh, it'll be good to get some homegrown talent, some NRL talent uh, coming through down here and um, hopefully we can develop that through clubs like this, the Geelong Sharks which is unreal. Looking at the season ahead, obviously high expectations on the club, top four finish probably on the cards, what are sort of the expectations for you personally and also the club? Oh, I think personally, um, I just I just want to have a consistent year. I think I fell uh, a few, to a few injuries uh, last year, so um, hopefully injury-free 2023. But um, as a, as a whole, our group we want to be better. We obviously didn't have the best finish uh, last year, so um, we want to prepare um, as best as we can and um, hopefully have a better finish. And like you said, hopefully top four. But um, we just want to improve each day, and um, hopefully uh, they'll come. How's the group feeling about the season sort of coming up now? You know, obviously not too far away now, but how's the group sort of coming together as the, the season gets closer? Yeah, the group's coming together really well. We've been um, getting touched up a fair bit. We've, um, Geelong Grammar School, we've been uh, having some tough sessions there and uh, some tough wrestle sessions and stuff like that. But that's what you need to prepare for the season. So um, the boys have been putting in the hard yards and I'm sure they'll show in 2023.